Okay, today in this lesson, I will explain the electro electrophilic surface reaction of the benzene. Basically, uh, I will describe the reactivity of the benzene. Okay, first, if we focus on the structure of the benzene, what we found that it is a type of a cyclic alkene. So, when we talk about it is alkene, it has three double bonds. So, it should give electrophilic addition reaction. But, in normal conditions, benzene does not undergo electrophilic addition. So, what it gives, it undergoes electrophilic aromatic substitution, maintaining the aromatic core. It always try to maintain its aromatic core. The reason is that its aromaticity is a very stable. So, it always try to maintain its aromaticity. Okay, if you focus on the benzene ring, the reason why benzene behave like that, the number one reason is that the double bonds we are talking about, they are alternate position. When they are in alternate position, they are not static, they are delocalized. Remember that whenever a thing get delocalized, it become less available. So right now, because of the delocalized electrons, the availability of pi electron for the addition reaction decreases. So that is the reason benzene does not undergo electrophilic addition reaction as easily as alkene does. Okay. Now, what is the second reason why it gives electrophilic substitution reaction? Remember that when these pi electron get delocalized, so, it make a benzene as weak nucleophile because this delocalized electron uh, behave like a type of a negative charge species. Okay. So, what happens whenever any strong electrophile react with benzene? Okay. Remember that we need a strong electrophile. So, a strong electrophile replaces one proton of the benzene giving us a electrophilic substituted product okay now remember that so where we will get this strong electrophile okay the strong electrophile is provided by a Lewis acid so for the substitution reaction of the benzene we need a catalyst and this catalyst will behave like a Lewis acid okay now I will explain the general mechanism of the electrophilic addition reaction of the benzene okay, in the first step what happens our reagent that is a weak electrophile is react with a Lewis acid or a catalyst to make this catalyst will produces a strong electrophile. Okay, when the strong electrophile generated, now it is ready to react with benzene because benzene always react with a strong electrophile. Okay, now one of the pi bond of the benzene will attack on this electrophile. So, what kind of product we will get? We get a cation right now. You can see uh, a positive charge is acquired on the benzene. But because of the alternate double bond, this positive charge will get also delocalized. So you can see, uh, this because of this, so we will be getting a delocalized. So we will be getting a very stable cation of the benzene. So initially, benzene tried to stabilize this positive charge on itself by the delocalization. Okay, in the step 3, what happens? Benzene loses its H plus ion. When it loses its H plus ion, so we get the final product that is a substituted final product. Okay. When we talk about the halogen, let's suppose we are talking about Br2. Br2 basically it is a weak electrophile. So what happens here when it reacts with a Lewis acid such as FeBr3? So FeBr3 accept a pair of electron from Br2 and it becomes FeBr4 minus and forming a strong electrophile of PR positive. Now this PR positive is ready to react with benzene. Now the one pi bond of benzene react with this making a additional product but right now remember that what will happen the pi bond will break and we will get a additional product but this additional product initially we call this as a cation and because of the delocalization system in benzene this positive charge also get delocalized. Now you can see it is it will delocalize. So in the end, okay, we can also we can also say that this delocalization is occur like that. Yes, we are getting this kind of product. Okay. Moving toward the third step. In the third step, what happens? Benzene or benzene cation loses H plus ion. Okay, now remember that where this H plus ion will go, I will tell you later right now. So, what we get, we get basically a R product, but now remember that. What we get, this FeBr4- react with this lost H plus ion, getting our catalyst deck. 
remember that sorry for this yes so it will be convert into fe br3 again as earlier i already told you this one is the catalyst so it should be recovered in the end as well as in the end we will get hbr so uh, directly you can say whenever benzene react with bromine we get uh, bromobenzene and hbr but all this thing happen in the presence of fe br3 okay moving toward the nitration of the benzene in the nitration of the benzene benzene react with concentrated hot and concentrated nitric acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid which act like a lewis acid so we get a nitrobenzene as well as we also get another product let's say yes this this is also the product this is the uh, complete reaction okay now i will discuss the mechanism in the first step the nitric acid that is the reagent will react with sulfuric acid that is behaving like a lewis acid okay remember that here it will behave like a uh, acid and because its strength is more than nitric acid and this one will behave like a base okay if you just remember that acid always give h plus ion and base always give o h negative ion okay if i just remove h plus ion from the sulfuric acid so what i will get i will get hso4 and similarly if i remove o h negative ion from nitric acid so what i will get i will get no2 plus okay remember that by the loss of h plus ion i am getting this by the loss of oh negative ion i am getting that and when these h plus and oh negative ion combine together so we are getting sorry sorry for that we are getting this one okay yes so this is what is this this is our electrophile okay now it is ready to react with benzene in the second step what will happen uh, so it will going to react with benzene so benzene will attack with the help of one of its pi bond so initially we will get a cation a benzene cation now you can see what happens so what happens yes the ch positive charge get delocalized in the benzene ring okay and the what happens next then benzene lost this h plus ion maintaining its aromatic core and we will get the final product that is the nitro benzene okay remember that so i already explained what will happen with this h plus ion this h plus ion will now react with the second part of our lewis acid to recovery of the lewis acid so h plus ion now will combine with hso4 minus so we will be having our catalyst recovered uh, there are five reaction of uh, benzene very very common number one the halogenation when uh, benzene react with halogen it could be uh, not chlorine it could be a bromine also so whenever it react so we need a catalyst here this cat this catalyst behave like lewis acid so this in the presence of this lewis acid so what happens we get a substitute product that is chlorobenzene remember that okay now in the second type of reaction this is called nitration when uh, nitric acid uh, hot and concentrated nitric acid react with benzene so it also needs a lewis acid uh, here we have a lewis acid as uh, sulfuric acid okay remember that both reagent should be concentrated hot and concentrated to react with so we get a nitrobenzene okay the third very common reaction it is also called a sulfonation we also react that thing with the sulfuric acid so here the sulfuric acid also behave like acid as well as a lewis acid so we get a benzene sulfonic acid okay remember that okay in the third type fourth type of reaction basically this is also called alkylation because any alkyl group get attached to the benzene ring okay here we need alkyl halide or haloalkane okay the, again the same reagent which were which were used in the halogenation so you can also use fecl3 for this to get this product or uh, alkylated product okay in the last type of reaction what happens we react with acetyl chloride or any alkyl acyl chloride i will say acyl chloride in the in the with the presence of a uh, same catalyst that were used in halogenation as well as alkylation we get a very important product that is called acetophenone it is also type of ketone okay these are the five very common reaction or 